Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Today we are going to discuss something called as PID and its association with infertility. PID is Pelvic Inflammatory Disease and it's an infection of the reproductive organs including the uterus and the fallopian tubes. It occurs when bacteria travels into the reproductive organs from the vagina or cervix. What are the types of PID? Acute PID, when PID symptoms, pelvic inflammatory disorder symptoms come on suddenly or severely, it is called as acute PID. It can cause long-term or short-term symptoms, including pelvic and abdominal pain, as well as infertility and an increased risk of ectopic pregnancy. Subclinical PID is the second type. When PID is largely asymptomatic or presents atypically, it is called as subclinical PID and it is marked by inflammation of pelvis or blocked fallopian tubes due to scarring these, uh, you know, or damages are also to these tubes are also seen. Recurrent PID. Multiple instances of PID can occur if the initial infection is not treated adequately or a patient contracts a primary infection again. So what is the occurrence? Well, it affects about 2 million people worldwide and about 12.5% of them will face post PID infertility as in you get the PID and then post PID, whether it is uh, treated or not, there is a 12.5% of these people that will be affected by infertility and around 25% will develop chronic pelvic pain. What are the causes of PID? 85% of the cases of PID are caused by untreated sexually transmitted diseases such as chlamydia and gonorrhea. 15% of these cases of PID may be caused by a mixture of other types of bacteria as well. Or what are the signs? Well, the most important sign is pain in the abdomen, lower abdomen, fever, unusual vaginal discharge with an odor or pain and bleeding during intercourse, burning during urination, intense bleeding between periods, these are the symptoms. Does PID impact infertility? That's another very important point of discussion that you need to understand. PID can cause scarring and formation of abscesses as in pus filled uh, formations. These are collection of infected fluid in fallopian tubes, harming reproductive organs and significantly reducing the chances of successful conception. Both acute and subclinical PID can result in infertility by damaging the reproductive organs, causing blockages or disrupting reproductive processes. Some of these damages, for instance, could be to the tiny finger-like structures inside the fallopian tube, which are not invisible to the naked eye definitely, but infertility can be caused due to infections of those structures inside the uh, tubes. Around 15% of in female infertility is estimated to be PID related. How is it diagnosed? Through a pelvic examination, tests for sexually transmitted diseases and tests for other bacterial infections as well. The risk of infertility grows when care for PID is delayed. As in, you know, some studies have said that PID when delayed for more than two days, as in onset of PID and you have not treated it for more than three or a few more days, these women are three times more likely to become infertile because by then the damage is done. Let's talk about fallopian tube damage. Well, this accounted for about 70% of infertility cases in one study with ectopic pregnancy rates of 9.1 in the clinical PID group. Well, it's compared to 1.5% within the control group. Clinical PID, the same study found 16% of participants with clinical PID and they were not able to conceive compared to only 2.7% of the control group. So PID can lead to both chronic pain and infertility outcomes and subclinical PID might pose an increased risk to fertility because it often goes undetected plus diagnostic tools for subclinical PID aren't as clear out until someone presents with unexplained infertility or a blocked tube. If you want to understand more about pelvic inflammatory disease, you have been diagnosed and treated and you're trying to get pregnant and have been failing to do so, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.